Welcome to the third part of this short series on how I use Notion to organize my life. In this video, I want to show you how I manage projects using my Notion setup and the Para method. Projects are a big part of the Para methodology and so I want to make sure that you understand how this works in, in my use case. I don't use the exact Para methodology but I use some or got some inspiration from it. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Now I'm here in my Notion dashboard again and uh, let's quickly navigate to projects. Now we covered some of the other aspects of my setup in the previous videos and now let's have a quick look at projects. Um, as I already said, I have four different areas that I organize my work into and this is because I want to um, yeah, get, just get a quick overview of my projects because I, if I had them all in one category it would be just a mess and there would be so many projects. So right now I have these four and this is a pretty good organizational structure for me. Um, you might have just two or three categories. Uh, for me, um, I found that four is the perfect amount. Now, what I do is in my projects, when I create a new project, I'll just add it here to the list. I'll just say test project. Oops. And what you can now do in the setup is I can, um, set up a time frame so I can say okay hot, today is the uh, 7th of, of October um, let me say I want right somehow a notion didn't work uh, just a second ago so now it should be back up running again um, so we were in the test project and what I can do now is I can whoops I'll quickly translate that to English again uh, now there we go um, and what I can now do is I can uh, say I want to do this project in a certain time frame. So I could say today is uh, October 7th. Uh, so let's include a end date and let's say the end date will be the 14th of October. So the next week will be uh, dedicated to this project. Uh, now I can also add in a status. So I could say this is uh, processing right now. Uh, these are directly translated through Google Translate. So don't worry if they uh, don't uh, match up uh, directly. But um, so yeah, yeah, I could choose one of these one of these statuses: processing, planned, waiting, or completed. Um, let's just say it's processing. So I'm uh, working on it right now. I can also choose an area, and this is uh, one of the areas right here. This is uh, connected through the uh, relation with the project database. Uh, this is why I can add this in here. I can add in the annual target, uh, monthly goal, weekly goal, and also uh, I can add in any notes that I have for this project that are in my notes database and also resources. So all of these can be added easily into this project. Now, if this is a project where I want to add in further information, I'll just add this down here. Uh, this is what I usually do. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If it's something I do with a client or with somebody else, uh, I can just share it and then that works just fine. Now back in the uh, board view. And this is where we now see the test project. And as you see, I have different views up here. So I also have the calendar view. And using the calendar view, you now see that this test project actually shows up in the uh, in the coming week so this is the time frame that i said this uh, project will be done in and uh, this is what shows up as well so if you add these time frames to your projects uh, you can actually use the calendar view as kind of like a project management board where you see uh, what is uh, being done right now uh, what will happen in the future and so on so this is a quick and easy way to organize yourself or even your team in Notion. Now going back to the board view, I've got uh, my project in here. And one more thing that I added to these projects is uh, this kind of status bar. And this tells me what status this project usually has. And it's also uh, sorted this way. So the status is ascending, um, which means uh, the way that I organize this um, the higher priority the project has right now, the higher up it shows up. So if I was to change up this uh, status for this uh, course, I'd click here and for example, choose the uh, planned status. And now you see that this is the um, order in which these 
projects will appear. So uh, processing right now is the most important one. This is, uh, these are the things that I actually am working on right now. Um, then the planned one is things that I plan on doing in the future or plan on doing in the near future. And then waiting out of the projects that I uh, have been doing some work on, but where I'm waiting on someone else to give me feedback. If you have many projects, so like uh, 50 plus, then you might want to actually add in a new view to your uh, projects just for these uh, projects that you're waiting on. So all of the things that are on hold that will be continued in the future that you're still uh, waiting on someone's response for. So for example, you have a, a design that you uh, want some feedback on from your colleague and uh, this uh, can't go any further until you get that feedback. This would be a classic example of something that would be on this on hold list. And this is also a great way of organizing this Notion workspace. What I also do is I hide the uh, finished projects. So if you just keep all of your projects in this view, once they're finished, then these will stack up quickly. So you will have like uh, 20 to 30 or even more projects in each of these columns. And that's just not what you want to happen because you don't want a cluttered workspace with all these dead projects. Uh, you just want just all of the projects that you're actually working on right now. So what you have to do is just go to the filter and um, this filters out all of the projects where the status is not completed. So uh, pretty much it does filter out all the projects where the status is completed. And these now uh, don't show up, show up anymore in this, in this kind of setup. Uh, what I've done for them is uh, kind of create this cleanup page. So this is uh, where all the completed projects land in. And from time to time, I then uh, just manually remove them from this list so that, that my Notion workspace just doesn't get cluttered and that I still only have the projects that I'm actually working on in my workspace. Now, looking at an individual project, uh, you see this is just a page where I added all of these uh, kind of connections. So I have a note connected to it. I have weekly goals connected to it, monthly goals as well, annual target. And um, I've got an area assigned as well. And then down here, I've uh, written down the things that I need to take into consideration concerning this project. Uh, this is also where files could go that are directly concerning this project. Uh, other kind of uh, information you need uh, that doesn't really fit into the notes category or the resources category. I personally prefer to keep most of the information concerning the project inside of here. So uh, down in this section, because it, it just seems natural to have all of the planning in here. And then I just keep the access stuff like um, notes with a client for, from like meetings or meeting notes. Uh, that's what I keep in my notes database uh, and nothing else because uh, it just makes more sense to me in this way. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of project management in Notion uh, video and how I do this using the power method in my setup. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the YouTube channel. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll gladly an answer any of your questions. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video and take care. Bye.